Hi everyone, let's begin in this video how we can perform t-test using Excel. Because everything Excel is a, such a powerful tool where you can perform each and every analysis that we are performing in SPSS. So there is no need of SPSS. All the tests we have to run in Excel itself. So I had already explained you mean, median, mode, standard deviation, variance, and range how we have to perform in excel so now is t test there is the dependent and pair t test independent t test i would run in my next video but first i would like to tell you what do you mean by dependent and pair t test so i have created an example over here you can see here this is the example uh corporate training institution claimed that it is training program can greatly enhance the efficiency of call center employees. A big call center sends some of its employees for the training program. And this is the employee number, right? Total number of employees are 20. And before the training program, it was the efficiency or we can say performance of these particular employees. This is the efficiency. But after the attending this training program, this is the efficiency that is recorded in my third column. But before that, first you must understand what do you mean by dependent t-test and what do you mean by independent t-test. Dependent t-test means when the sample is same, that means that is the before and after we are taking same sample. Suppose I am taking, I am taking a class of, um, a big class of MBA students and I just want to know what was the performance before I have taught them and now after teaching my that particular topic, now what is their performance? I just want to check. So what I did before starting that class, I have taken a test and I have recorded all the marks. And after giving them one month classes, again, I have taken a test. Now I have recorded the marks. But students are same. Those were the students, let's say, first 1 to 20 students are same or 1 to 60 students are same. So in this case, we are going to apply dependent or we can call it paired sample t-test. Paired means before and after the sample is same. But when we are going to compare, let's say, MBA section A with section B, then what it would be? There is the sample is changed because section A students are different from section B students. So here is, in this case, we are going to apply independent t-test because sample is not same. So I'm sure you understand what is the difference between dependent t-test and independent sample t-test. So in this video, we are going to apply dependent uh, sample t-test. Now, what we have to do, I had already created two hypotheses. Null hypothesis means average output of the employees is same before and after going through the training program. That means null hypothesis saying there is no difference of the employee's performance before training and after training. But alternate hypothesis said, Average output of the employees is not same before and after going through the training program. That means there is a, some difference what they were giving output before training and after training. So for this purpose, how we have to test because manually we are not going to test when we are working on a bigger sample size, we are going to apply some test. So here is, I just want to confirm, I just want to accept one hypothesis and reject another hypothesis through t-test. So what I will do, let's, you can see here, I had copied this data in my Excel sheet. The same table, you can see one to 20 employees. Before the training program, these, this is the performance. And after the training program, this is the performance. Same Excel sheet. Now what we have to do, I'm going to apply t-test. So what I will do, here is, you can see, there is the one, 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 one particular icon is here, auto sum. 
What you have to do, you have to press here auto sum. There's the sum, average, count number, lots of things, max, minimum, more functions. When you are you are pressing more functions, then you can see here, this is the n number of kinds of uh, statuses here. Now, we, I'm going to click statistical. When I will press statistical, so you can see here in statistical, now let me bigger little bit size, no. So statistical, simply I will go down, scroll down, so you can see here t-test. Uh, t-test, I would select t-test. So let me, yes, this is the, you can see t-test. I would click here, okay, right. So now this kind of template will be open in this t-test. Now you can see. Now what I will do, array one. Array one means here is, there is the array one, array two then tails, then type. Now, one by one, I'm going to explain each and everything. Array one means before the training program. So I'm going to select all 20 entries before the training program. And now I would press, you can see C4 to C23. This is the C column. C4 to C23, all the entries I have selected. Now, array 2. Array 2 means after the training program, I'm going to select all the values and now D4 to D23. Now, tail. Tail means whether we are going to apply one tail or two tail. I had already recorded a video on one tail, two tail test, but definitely I would uh, explain you. You can just go through that particular video and uh, if uh, there is any doubt, so definitely I'm going to explain you in the next video, one tail and two tail in detail. So here is I'm going to apply two tail test and type means what? You can see here. See, when I press this tails, here is you can see return the probability associated with a student's t-test specifies the number of distribution tail to return one tail distribution. Here is then we have to enter one, two tail distribution, then you need to enter two. Because I need two tail distribution, so I'm just pressing two, type. Type is, this is the kind of t-test, paired means one, because my test is paired. I am applying paired t-test, so here is I will press one. But when you have two sample equal variants, right, homosodastic, then you are going to press two. And when the sample is unequal variants, three, means what is the meaning of this uh, equal variants and unequal variants? I have already explained you variants. When your this both these samples, right, both these data, there is a uh, variance is not same, right, is not equal, then you are going to apply three. But when your variance is same, right, then you're going to apply two homosodastic, right? And this is the kind of t-test paired that I'm going to apply here is one. So simply I would press OK. Now you can see this is my t-test value. Value of the t-test is 0 0.027. This value is, this value is p-value. If this p-value, I am just pressing here p-value. p-value means probability value. p-value is less than, I am just pressing less than is 0 0.05. There are the two condition, either this p-value would be greater than 0 0.05 or less than 0 0.05. So now you can see here, when the p-value is greater than, then what will happen? I'm just pressing the sign of greater than. In this case, when the p-value is less than 0 0.05, right, and my value is less than 0 0.05, then in that case, alternate hypothesis will be accepted, will be accepted, right? But when p-value is greater than 0 0.05, right? So here is or null hypothesis. Here is you are going to write for the null hypothesis, we are fail to reject, fail to reject, Null hypothesis. Reject. Null hypothesis. 
So I'm just showing you null hypothesis. I'm just showing you this is the meaning of this value, how you are going to interpret in your research paper or in your thesis or in your project work. I'm just explaining you. Here is this interpretation. You can see here, this interpretation I have taken when I had applied the same sample in my SPSS. But here is I had applied I have run this sample in Excel sheet. So what would happen? Interpretation is two-tailed. Same way I had applied two-tailed in Excel. P-value is 0.027, just less than the conventional 5% level of significance, that is 0.05. And I'm sure I had written also the same thing, 0.05. And I had written, therefore, we can reject the null hypothesis at 5% significance level, which means that the average output of the employees has indeed changed after attending the training program. So that means we can say after providing them training program, employees performance is improved. So this is, I am not saying, you are not saying, simply statistical test is proving this. So in that way, we are going to run t-test and I'm sure this video would be helpful to you. And in the next uh, video, I am going to perform independent t-test. Thank you. Keep watching.